Welcome back everybody to Rodenberg Rock. It has been a good amount of time since my last video. Uh, who who thought other than myself that being a YouTuber and making videos and making the time to do that was easy? Because it's not. It takes time. Sorry about the waves in the background. It's a nice wavy day out here. And it's fall time. It's my favorite time of the year. So we're back up the North Shore of Minnesota. We're gonna hit up some beaches and see if we can find any agates. So thanks for joining back and see you then. As I'm trying to get to the beach over there, I get to, I should have wore some waders and just wearing some Converse's. So I'm just walking around these rocks. There's bright shiner. Not sure if there's many bands in there. It might just be some calcinia. It looks like there might be a little amethyst, purple right there. But nonetheless, still a good size and a good start. Hopefully that means some good luck. Okay, literally like a 90 degree turn of my head away in the same spot. I'm not sure if that has any good features in it. I almost just think that's limonite stand. That is very strange. I don't know, I think I might chalk that up as a, an agate, but I'll clean it up, but wow, it's beautiful. Again, I love walking these clay cliffs. I know we've been to this spot before because it's just my dream one day to just have an agate just poking out here and just the band just shining. But it also tends to knock out some new agates too that fall right on the ground here. So even a little guy right there. Look at the beauty. Yeah. All right, I need to just like keep recording because I look down Look at this big head right there. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Let's start off with this one first. Wow. That is a beautiful piece. And then yeah, this big, bigger piece right here. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful egg and holy moly. As growing up, I used to always say, holy moly, Rocky. And I guess that's applicable here, but we're, we're barely even down the shore. So what a great hunt already. This rock cut right down here. Not quite sure what that is. It's like a type of granite. Red quartz running through it. Oh my god, that was pretty rough. Okay, um, a little already like shaking because I can see this thing glowing right here and it looks massive. Oh my goodness. Are you. Look at how big that is. Holy smokes, a little window there. And there's some eyes that are poking out from there. Oh my goodness. I am just so thankful to be out here on this beautiful day and just find these. Wow. I cannot wait to clean these up and show you guys better under light because there are some beautiful eyes that are within that, within that window. Let's go. There's a few little nice ones right here. Right there. One right down here. Wow, that is a unique one. Just, I don't know if those ones are called steam agates or if those are dented, but this makes. There's the bands. Oh, what a day. 
I got super excited because I found an eensy teensy bitty bit, a, little, a, little, a bit of sea glass up here. But then I don't know what my luck is with up here. You see this big orange shiner? Like what? Oh, is that an, is that an agate? I mean, that looks like that could be a band there, but I've never seen a rock with these types of colors. I've, I think that's an agate, but I've never seen an agate with a husk that color. That is insane. That is gorgeous. Wow, and we're still, just waiting along the shore here till we even get to the beach. This is just, wow, very thankful. Okay, I just dug this rock out and it's got me a little confused. I feel like it's got some characteristics of like an egg it's somewhere in here, but it's really hard to tell. I don't know if agates fill in with those types of crystals or not, but so, nonetheless, kind of a cool rock, but I hope I don't get yelled at for leaving it be, but let's hope it's nothing. Here's a little one that caught my attention here. And I actually think it's nothing. These always give that shine to me of an agate. And I think it's just... All right, well, now I'm embarrassed because I feel like once it's... A little bit wet. Um, it doesn't look like an egg, but nonetheless, it throws me off. So, bye for now. Just got to the beach. Starting off with a nice water level egg. That's my favorite piece, the eye. Uh, egg are my absolute favorite. Well, I haven't gotten a close look at this one, but looks promising. Some... Oh yeah, that's got some bands right up in here. I think that's about it. I always find rocks like this and they're always interesting. It's definitely an agate, especially yeah, right here. Very nice. And a nice piece of jasper. You got those deep red colors. Oh, I saw this one. It's a small one, but I, I love finding ones with these colors. And get good lighting. It's got the greens and blues and orange in there. It's beautiful. Oh, could this be a potential agate in the... I don't want to touch it because it gets our hands so dirty. In the clay here. Bear with me. Could be, could not be. Fortunately, I don't think that is one. One day we'll get one. Okay, I got a question for everyone. I sometimes see rocks like these, and to me, these just look dead giveaways as like agates. Those look kind of like the indents or wherever they're made. And you pick it up. So literally just a, a flat rock. I don't know if anyone knows what that is or where that comes from, but it's always some trickery when I'm, when I'm spotting some agates. So if anyone knows, let me know. I know I'm saying I picked up a lot of rock that I get confused by, but I just picked this one up and tossed it on the shore because I do find a lot with this like yellow quartzy shell. Oh, you see, that's like, it looks like all quartz in the middle. But, so clearly, I don't think it's an agate. I always toss these back, but they always make me second guess myself. I'm like, hmm, is it really actually not an agate? But it just really gives me, I don't know, thoughts that it could be. It just has all quartz in the middle, but not sure. If anyone knows, let me know as well. And this is why the strategy of walking back and looking under the rocks. You might not have saw the first time because of the angles. Look at this guy right here. 
Oh my gosh, as I'm heading back, just a giant nodule again, almost my palm. Not a ton of banding that's visible. It is a little dark out here, but my, oh my, is that another amazing find. This spot has rewarded me over and over again. And it's hard not to keep coming back to finds like these. So, wow. No way, if this is one, which this one, again, not fully, but I mean, that's gotta be one, right? What? Oh my goodness. What is up with these? This was literally like, I don't even know, 30 feet from the other one. Like, like oh, I wish you could see the bands in these. Are you kidding me? I, I'm speechless, honestly. I have been so rewarded in this spot, time and time again. And that's why I'm saying, these banks, that one was as close as I could to my to my goal. Maybe if I would've gotten here a couple weeks ago, it might've just been plopping out just like this, but wow. Cannot wait to clean these up and show you all. Okay, not sure about this one. Um, uh, not the mud. Um, no, did I, I did not actually did take something up, right? Nothing else. Sorry, I'm like trigger happy in the best way possible. This one, I find rocks that are like lined like this, but that looks like agate lines on top. I just want to see. Maybe they're a little bit wet. You think those are agate lines? Or you think that's part of like a church of some kind? I'm not sure about that. I'm going to take it away. I'm leaning towards church, but I don't know. Nonetheless, so nice. Okay. What are our thoughts on this? Is this galaxy stone? I've, I've heard about it. Let's see if I can pry it out. With all these. Those little agates on there. I don't know if there's a band of an agate, but again. I don't have a saw or anything. I don't know if I should take that home or not, but it's probably good 25, 30 pounds. We'll see. If I'm back at the house with the rock, we'll know I took it. But cool rock nonetheless. We're almost back. And I just saw this big, big nice chunk. So nice. Just adding to that successful hunt today. Okay, we're back to the main path, but I wanted to record this in case it wasn't a real deal. Kinda has those characteristics again. Are you, are you kidding? I mean, I think that's an A yet. I'm like, pretty sure of it. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, someone correct me again in the comments. I think that's an agus. Maybe a moss agus, I'm not sure, but. Oh, again. I don't know why I was blessed today with these finds, but I'm so thankful. I gotta. I gotta get out of here. I saw this one under some of these rocks. I've been trying to dig it out, but it's been, I don't know. And okay, honestly, a dud, I can deal with it. It's a dud, it's okay. It just had me there. Oh wow. Just made it back on top of the hill. I think we're gonna call it a day. Sun's about to set. Again, I just love the North Shore so much. This beautiful sun's about to set. We're gonna head home, clean up these rocks, and go through some of our finds. Thanks for joining. 
All right, we are back to our little space here with all the rocks we found. This video has already been kind of long, so I'll, I'll keep this short and then I'll just run through uh, highlighting some of the, the nice agates we found. So thanks for joining along on this adventure and, and enjoy the agates. That's all for this video. Thanks for tagging along and we'll see you on the next adventure.